my TTs, welcome back to the channel. So it looks like Ineli Choppa and his baby mother Mariah haven't been getting along and they've been having a rough co-parenting relationship. And of course, today on Father's Day, they decided to bring it to social media and actually let everybody know what was going on. But also today is their baby girl Clover's birthday. So definitely happy birthday to her. And by the way, a happy Father's Day to all of my TTs who are fathers. I don't know if I have any, but if I do, happy Father's Day day to you and thank you for supporting my channel so this basically all started off with nle choppa dropping a video for his daughter called letter to my daughter and basically in this song he's telling his daughter the reasons why he can't see her and how his baby mother mariah called the police on him and allegedly put him on child support now of course this made mariah very upset because not only did nle choppa had something to say about her you know also nle choppa's mother decided to take to her instagram and write something shading mariah too she wrote and said happy first birthday beautiful maybe one day we will be able to see and share these precious moments like the other half of your family it is really sad for petty moms to withhold a child from the dad side of the family plus lies and manipulate the situation happy father's day Son. that's when mariah responded to her and said how the f you go from saying happy birthday to bringing me up you old washed up and messy you mad because you can't come to the party poo this is exactly why and ain't obligated to see her and you always disrespect me when i did nothing but respect you my whole pregnancy you disrespected me the whole time i was with old boy you disrespected me been making posts about me since 2019 you ain't never been genuine just old and lonely clover is not your child we could have been squashed it and came to an understanding when you was coming over my house to see her every day but instead of you apologizing you would rather continue it be smoke you gonna be a messy rude disrespectful and miserable for the rest of your life you the one caused all of this because you always in his business like he not grown Wrong. all of this is your fault here you go starting stuff again when me and him working on things quit playing that innocent game baby because it ain't working you and that mustache need to find y'all some safe to do for real now she really went on nle choppa's mother yes it was disrespectful but the shade that nle choppa's mother was throwing at her was something else as well but she she definitely took it overboard i ain't going to lie now also mariah was very upset about this situation and decided to you know go off on her instagram and she was basically talking about how it wasn't her that was holding Ineli choppa back from their daughter clover basically they had an altercation that happened and since that altercation when the police and the court got involved they said that they have a no contact order so they cannot come in contact with each other which is basically why Ineli choppa is not able to see their daughter she said that she does everything herself she's pays for everything she did not put nle choppa on child support he put his self on child support when he requested a dna test her and nle also exchanged some words on twitter and it was basically about the same thing he said all fathers know that if someone files to put you on child support the court automatically has the father to take a dna test i've been planning this song to drop for two weeks i received the invitation to clover's birthday party friday the same day breakfast club previewed my song that's when mariah said never filed to put you on child support on my soul i don't need nothing from nobody a mf came knocking on my door serving me papers saying that mf wanted a dna test and we had court date coming up i've been doing this blank on my own all this time you wanted a dna test so you put yourself on child support we wouldn't even be going to court if you didn't serve me them papers for a dna test i wish that mf would have came back negative the f i don't need nothing from nobody what do you mean even though this situation was very unfortunate that nle choppa and his baby mother mariah was going back and forth like this on their daughter's birthday it looks like these two were able to figure it out and come to together because some videos and pictures came out of nle choppa at his daughter's birthday party so it looks like he was actually able to show up and have a good time at his daughter's birthday 
birthday party and these two were able to coexist in the same room which i think was great you know what i'm saying forget about everything else that went on earlier as long as these two were able to get along figure it out and come together and have a good time for their daughter because that's what really matters now i actually love the thumbnail picture that nle choppa used for his song letter to my daughter uh, you know on that picture he just looks like a proud father holding up pictures of his beautiful baby girl now i do have to agree with mariah when she said you know the song just seemed like it was about her if he's writing a song and it's called letter to my daughter it should mostly be about his daughter in the song he was talking about his daughter but he was mostly blaming a lot of the situation on his baby mother and talking about her a lot you know what I'm saying? It should have just been strictly about his daughter. But I guess he meant well. But like I said, y'all, as long as they're getting along now, that's really all that matters. Now, NLE Choppa's mother and Mariah, I don't know about that because Mariah definitely read NLE Choppa's mother you know what i'm saying anyways guys let's move on into the city girls now the city girls definitely raised a lot of eyebrows from a lot of fans and i have to say myself when they posted some pictures from a photo shoot that they did for a magazine cover and basically this is the picture that they posted right here now with this post they were thinking this magazine cover and i guess they're called id i haven't really heard of them but they were basically thanking this magazine company for being able to be in their magazine and they took multiple pictures but this was the first picture that they decided to post on their instagram now a lot of fans were in the comments like hold on are you guys a part of the illuminati because basically when a lot of celebrities do this symbol when they have one um hand over one of their eyes it symbolizes allegedly that they are in the illuminati or that they are representing the illuminati we know that you know celebrities like lady gaga beyonce jay-z have done this and these are all celebrities who have been accused of being in the illuminati so i think this was a very bad pose and idea for the city girls to do now upon looking at this magazine covers page it looks like them having you know one eye covered is a part of their symbol or logo or whatever they have going on but it does seem a little strange that their name is id i wonder what the i stands for anyways you guys let me know do you feel like the city girls might be in the illuminati or not because they did this pose definitely let me know what you feel about nle choppa and his baby mother going back and forth at it earlier today and thank you so much my lovely tts for watching room for tea make sure make sure make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video